Well, Konami, I can't believe that I'm about to say this. But for once in my life, and this is hardly ever that this happens, I am man enough to admit that I am eating crow today. And for once, I'm actually enjoying it. What's going on, my fellow Belmonts? It's the Mad Belmont here. And today, I am talking about Silent Hill 2 Remake because... We got more info on this game today. We did. We got more info on it at the state of play, as well as there was a Silent Hill 2, I guess well, we should call it the Silent Hill 2 transmission, because that's mostly what was shown at this transmission. And so, yeah, let's talk about Silent Hill 2, because this game went from me being really, really cautious about it, and kind of not trusting Konami to, okay, now I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. I cannot wait for October to come because it's coming out October 8th, as was revealed in the State of Play trailer. And I am honestly just stunned at how good this game looks. So let's talk about it. They showed a lot. In this trailer today actually both of the trailers the one from the state of play as well as the one that they showed at the uh, transmission which was an extended gameplay trailer and this game really needed some time to let its gameplay just pop and we got that today we did we got that and we got that in droves because this game is just it looks beautiful it looks like it plays pretty good and i gotta hand it to blue team and konami i mean you know that it is a joint effort here and for once i can actually say that that konami's doing something right i i i feel like i'm in the twilight zone right now saying that but yeah they Bloober Team, you can tell, is a team full of hardcore Silent Hill 2 fanatics because they are capturing literally every single detail about this game. They showed some of the scenes at the beginning of the game, the very beginning of the game, when James steps out of the bathroom at the rest stop on the side of the road and how he talks about Mary and receiving the letter from her and how she died of that damn disease three years ago we hear all about that and we see how beautiful this game is with just how it's rendered and then we see the graveyard scene with angela we see angela we get to see how she sounds in this game and the voice acting i gotta i gotta admit it's pretty good i like how the game looks uh the characters, when they're showing emotions and stuff like that, they're showing them with detail. They show them with facial expressions. So if they're startled, they see the, you see that. If they're scared, you see that. If they're sitting there acting all smug, you can see that too. So I like that. I like that they do that in this game. And another thing I like that they've done is it looks like they've not only put the same locations in the Silent Hill 2, but they're expanding on certain areas. Like for instance, you go up Martin Street in the trailer and you go through a backyard and then you climb up and under a garage and go into a house. Like, we didn't do anything any of that in the original game and i know this because i'm playing through it right now and i'm walking up and down martin street cat street all the different locations within the game and i'm not getting literally any of what they're showing in the trailer here so as far as that, you know, going through the backyard and going up and under a garage to go into a house, didn't do any of that. So, we're getting familiar beats, as well as some expansion here, and I like that. 
I like it when a remake goes and does that because it's not just a straight one-to-one -one remake, you know? Like, I know that that's what some people want, and if that's what you wanted, hey, that's fine. You know, that you like what you like and you want what you want, but I always am the type of dude that I want most of what's there. But if you can expand in certain areas and add to this game in a way that doesn't insult it, then hey, by all means, go for it. I like it when remakes do that, and they did that here, and it looks like they're doing it to a pretty good degree. Also, I cannot stress this enough, the combat, because when we got the combat reveal trailer, I'm putting quotes up right now, when we got that earlier in the year at a state of play, oh my god, it looked so awful. The, gay, the guns, the gunplay looked uninspired and bland, and the melee combat did not look that good. Now that we get a more complete build of the game, in this trailer, we see the improvements in the gameplay. Combat looks pretty good. Guns look meaty. They look like they pack a punch. I like that. Also, the atmosphere in this game looks like it's been retained. You know, you got the creepy shots as you're walking through Silent Hill. You've got the creepiness as you're going through Brookhaven. That's where they went in one of the sections in the trailer. So atmosphere looks like it's retained a lot of the details look like they've been retained uh you get a lot of the same story beats here but again as i have emphasized that it looks like they're expanding a little bit and overall i honestly still can't believe that i'm even saying this but konami did good i don't know how i got those words out of my mouth and am not immediately following it with a sarcastic joke behind it but yeah they 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 did it they they did it and i don't know if it's just a fluke because it's this game and they know how important this game is or if it's a sign for things to come but i'm just gonna enjoy it right now while it lasts and i cannot wait until october the 8th before I get a chance to play this game and I can't wait to finish the original game so I can talk about it on here just like I'm about to do with the original Silent Hill here shortly so what did you think about the state of play and the transmission and what we saw at both of these events from Silent Hill 2 I want to know what you think down in the comments down below let's have a discussion about it and before I sign off here if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. That would really help me out a lot, okay? Also, if you're new around here, consider subscribing. I talk about Castlevania and horror games, occasionally some RPGs, every single Monday at noon p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This case is a very special one, obviously, because we just got some news here recently, and I've been going through kind of a tough time for the last half of May, so... Yeah, uh, pretty, pretty rough times here, but now it seems like things are back to normal for now, anyway. And, uh, so, now that we have said that, that is gonna do it for the video. And remember, have fun on the hunt, my fellow Belmonts. I'll see you in the next video, and peace out. Super Retro Force.